Hello, hello. I'm Enter Elysium, and welcome to Company of Crime, which is not where you play as a Fortune 500 company. It's a game where you play as a British gang in the 1960s doing crime and trying to take over crime. Or if you want to be like a good guy, there is a cop campaign if you want to play as the police. Now, this game, of course, is uh, a criminal game. We'll feature a lot of criminal acts and also swearing, so please bear that in mind. And we'll also feature a sponsored disclosure because this video is sponsored by 1C Entertainment, who are the publisher for Company of Crime, uh, and it is developed by Resistance Games. Now, this is a sponsored video, and such the link will be down below. If you want to go check that in the description, you can do so. But uh, we'll be getting back into the game, and we're going to be playing over with this one I've just started off a little while ago where I've taken control of Newham and we started working to Tower Hamlets. In fact, our HQ is actually over in Tower Hamlets. So you can see over here we have uh, a couple of businesses. We've coerced the owner nicely out of by offering them my government offer, my government use. Uh, we're a British gang, so we're probably not going to be like that. But uh, we have the Duke of York Barbershop, which we own, which is earning a bit of money, and the Bird in the Bush with this lovely, very appetizing pie. And up here we've got three businesses that we are getting extortion, I mean, we're providing protection services for, and they're providing us money as well. Over in Tower Hamps, we haven't actually done very much. We've got a load of businesses that we haven't touched, and there's also uh, the Yardies, who have a load of vice and... Uh, street drugs and so on. The Yardies being a Caribbean gang. And we also have uh, the actual Mafia. The Old Sassori. I think it's pronounced that. I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, which is like the Italian Mafia. Like, oh, I can make a model for kind of refuse. And it is going to involve uh, TV sets and puppies. Nobody can refuse puppies. It makes sense. Uh, so we have two other gangs who are competing with us in these areas. As we expand, there will be more gangs. There's like, I believe there's one based on the Cray Brothers. Uh, the Crick Brothers in this game. Oh, the Richardson Gang, and I think that was the Stevensons. So, I think the first thing to do is probably pop to the crew and hire some more people. Because we have two more slots that I have not filled yet. So we're going to grab a Brain. And we'll grab probably another Bouncer, because they're tough and they do a lot of damage. I actually really like the Torturer. Because they've got a load of stuff they can do, like smashing chairs over people, jabbing people in the eyes. They're lovely people, really. Uh, smugglers are pretty good as well, but I'm actually going to get the extra bounce, though, because the tough is very much appreciated. And then with them, I think first things first, we should probably do a robbery for some money. And we'll send our level ones, because they need to get the experience. And then we'll go to this newspaper up here, and we'll bribe a journalist, because I would like my heat to go down. Now, uh, the way in this game that you really lose is by the heat. When the roses catch on, it becomes really difficult. So the more heat you have, like, the quicker the police show up to your jobs, and the more police show up. It's actually really, really bad at high levels. Um, I did not have a game go down to that earlier. Nope. Uh, right, so we'll send you over to bribe that, and we could send an extra journalist. Yeah, we'll send an extra, not an extra journalist, sorry, an extra person to do the journalist mission. We'll send you. And I've got five days to heal, seven days to the robbery, and then probably a journalist here. In fact, we'll speed up this robbery. Be four days to the robbery. Two, one, robbery time. Let's pick our crew. So you're busy uh, bribing a journalist, so if we take you away from that, because there's someone else doing it, we should be okay. So that shouldn't fall through. And we'll undercut everyone else. You have a gun. Guns are bad. Guns, I mean, obviously guns are painful and dangerous and stuff, but like guns make a lot of noise. They bring the police quicker. They really up your heat and killing people ups your heat. So like generally not a good idea, but hammers, hammers are fine. So, we'll give you a gun just in case, and we'll get you a hammer. And then we'll go to planning, and we have to rob this place. There are a couple of enemies in there. Now, in theory, we just need to steal items. We don't need to, like, knock anyone out. We don't need to attack people. Hopefully, we can just get in, get the money, and get out. You know, nice, clean crime. Uh, so, oh, hello, that's an employee there. 
what we'll do is we will... Yeah, so this is staff area. So we'll just go stand next Take to the staff look. area. Not suspicious at all. Don't mind me, employee. Just in case that employee notices something. I think what we're going to do is just like box them in and not at all we're suspicious. Not nope. Sandwich. No idea what's going on. Don't know. Sorry. You know, this uh, we're just doing a little bit of a job, you know, just just hanging around. Uh, we're queuing. We're queuing to get into the restaurant. That's what we're doing. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Not suspicious in any way. Uh, just don't mind me. That's a civilian. Civilians mostly they just get in the way. Um, as soon as you see, by the way, like, it's kind of like XCOM. You've got, like, a grid-based thing. You've got two moves each, or two move attacks. Um, I think we can get in here without being seen. Yeah, wrong one. Uh, let's try and grab that. Yoink. Hey, I got something here. Totally not spotted. Right, let's get you... Out. Please don't see me. Yeah! And then I guess everyone's just going to stand outside, ready? I'm on it. We're, we're queuing outside. Yeah, we're queuing up because we really want to go into the restaurant after going inside and coming out. Look, there's reasons. Hey, employee. Don't mind me. Right, everyone. Covered. Done! Yeah! Right, that was actually quite an easy mission. We were a little bit unlucky there. Normally there'd be like an employee actually in the air of the money and then they would spot us and then people would be mad. But, good mission, take them on for some experience. Uh, we will probably want to send someone to deal with this newspaper as well. I'll sign an extra unit. Right, at least it's 100. I think we'll probably want to go up here and... Oh, we could do an espionage. Yeah, that's going to take eight days. So you'll need the, everyone else to, like, help reinforce. But no one else available, so yeah. All right, Doc's healed. I don't want to assign Doc to this because uh, the way... It as espionage works is when you add people at the very last moment when you actually go to do the mission people who are level five can really buff the job uh however if they're the people setting up the job they don't do that so yeah we'll probably just have to let this tick over right oh this one got us influence eh, that's fine i was hoping for a heat reduction could bribe another journalist. Yeah, why not? Well, let's be a little bit longer. Whoa! The Ulthasauri just took over a civilian target. They took over a laundrette! No, that's our laundrette. We were getting protection money off that. That's it. We're going to have to deal with that. Uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. We've got to do this espionage first. Ah, reduce our heat. Nice. We're down to zero heat. And then I think we can speed up the espionage, right? I mean, it's not going to be spent much, but yeah, there we go. Right. Do an espionage. Assign level five. Assign level three. Oh, you're on assignment. And then assign an extra one. And there we go. Very easy. Non-existent chance of being killed. Non-existent chance of being arrested. Very low chance of wounded. And very low chance of unit knocked out. Let's auto resolve that. Sweet. And we got two level ups. We can get order. Plus 10 aim bonus on a person or swap places. Swap places is great. Uh, getting bottlenecked when you're trying to move around is really difficult. 
Bull Rush, you move forward to pushing it out the way. Or double damage, but minus 20 aim. Honestly, um, Bull Rush, the movement is so good. And then we need to go and we need to respond here. So I think we menace to just drive them out. So what Menace does is it basically drives them out of business and basically will kick the Ulcesari out from being in control of it. We're going to send our level 5 Tracy. We'll also assign another level 4, because this is against another mob, but like this is a tough one. And then Bribe Journalist will assign Doozy to speed that up. And can we get some like hammers or something? Oh, we've got no money. Right. Right, yeah, yeah, we've got no money. It's a bit of a problem. Uh, we're not going to have that problem any longer because uh, we're going to pick up our crew and we're going to go show them what we're made of. Uh, right, level 5, level 4, level 2, level 3. Unequip everyone else. You can take the Webley. You can take the Hammer. You've got a Webley just in case. I don't think we'll need to use the guns, but like if this goes south, I'm okay with doing so. Eliminate all enemies. Front door, back door. I kind of want to just put everyone in one place to do this as quickly as possible. What we can do is split people, like go two front, two back. Maybe the other way around. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and that way, like, we can have two come in here, two come in here, and then two hold these guys. Everyone else will come, like, to reinforce, and we just kick these guys and then go in the front. Like, we, we double-team, we pincer them. All right, this is also staff error, so that'll start a brawl. Also, sorry, hacker... I don't know what hacker means in this context. This is obviously pre-computers proper. Like, so what does the hacker really do? Anyway, we're going to move you in here. Hi. We're allowed to be in here. It's a business. You're a little bit suspicious, but that's cool. Um, I don't know how close I can get. I think I can get anywhere that's not in there, like, zone of control. When I get around to it, jeez. Yeah. And then face that way. Now the facing is really important because like if people can get behind you, they get massive bonuses to hit and stuff. Alright, skip turn, skip turn. Oh, hi there. Okay, yep, hi, welcome. This is annoying actually, this is going to block that and then we're going to get Teamed up, out, that's from the side, flanking. Ah, you try to run past me. Free attack. So you've got a zone of control that extends out your front and out your sides. Oh, they're diving over to the side of us. Free attack. Luckily, none of them seem to have guns or anything, so that's nice. Ah, they've grappled us. Now that wrestle is going to make it really annoying. Ah, so cool story. We have loaded movement abilities because this is Scratch, who is a brain. So we've got both the swap places and the push kick. And we've also got insult, which will enrage an enemy and make them attack only us. So I'm thinking what we do is we like swap you. So that way now you can attack them. We could also threaten you, which is a three action. Yeah, I'll threaten you. I know where you live, I swear to God, I'll kill everyone you know. That's more pirate than British, but whatever. Uh, then I guess we will just like push kick. If I push kick, we still won't be able to move. I think we. Get in there. Oh, wrong one. I really want to just... 
Um, could jab some civilians in the face. Wouldn't really do us anything. Yeah, move in. Punch you from behind. Not really the most impressive attack we've done. So this guy, it's a bit confusing. This guy's actually here, I think, because, yeah, we're punching that way. So I can't actually stop you. So I think what we're going to do is just going to start, like, hitting and just go for as many hits as possible. So that's the hammer. Now, notice I've actually got two, like, bars. This bar at the top is your HP, your, like, actual health. The bar at the bottom is your stamina. If you just hit people with fists, they'll probably just lose stamina until they stop fighting. But, because we're using a hammer, we're also doing HP damage. They will die if they run out of HP. And that is bad, because that's a lot of heat. Generally bad. Sometimes you have to do it for reasons, because crime and evil and mean and bad guys. But, like, sure. Um... I think we just go for more hitting, really. We could grapple that guy. Yeah. I'll skip your turn. And if people attack us, they might hit them by mistake. Oh, zone of control. Nice. Oh, they're down. Another one. Ah, they're going from behind. Yeah, they did the same thing we did. Makes it really easy to attack us. Oh! Actually, really low on stamina with that one. Ah, two down there. Now, luckily, we can try and break this one out. There we go, the police are going to show up in four turns. We've got three enemies down, there are three more to go. And we're going to grapple you. Now, you're actually pretty hurt, so... I think what we'll do is we'll, like, headbutt you. So you're disoriented. And then we kick you. That way we've got a bit of room. Now the headbutt's actually a free action, so we can then threaten, also a free action. And I think we threaten you. I know where you live, I swear to God, I'll kill everyone you know. Again, more pirate. Uh, we could go hit with chair. I think we actually want to go brace for it, which will give us a bit of protection. It gives you armor. Like, you take less damage in the next turn, and it also regens a bit of health, and you also can avoid uh, zones of, you know, control. Not that that matters. Uh, you come in. Oh, we need to come in just straight ahead at you. Oh, we need to dive through zones of control. Uh, have you got anything we can use to get out of that? No... Right, brace for it. That allows us to go through zone of control. And then run in. And then jab you in the face. There we go. Which blinds you. Which removes your zone of control. Which means we can dive behind you. I still think we want to be hitting you in the back. Ah, still up. Ah, zone of control. Nice. Right, two left. Police are showing in three turns. Right. Grab that guy from behind. Yeah. And then, a lot of punching. A lot of punching to be done. I think we'll actually start with jabbing him in the eyes. Ah, but we missed. Uh, okay, Brain, what about you? Insult the mod. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put the toss out. Ah, oh, it failed. Oh, well. This is a good line. I 
I think we'll just hit you with a hammer. Oh, close. Right, hammer. Not hammer, sorry, chair. Three turns to the police show up. Got one guy left. Pretty full health, but... One guy versus four. Okay, threaten them. I'll give you five seconds to run away. Five, all three. Yes, they're running away. So many turns of control. Alright, we have two turns to leave the scene. We can leave at the front or the back, or close to the back. Let's leg it. Going. No it's gonna be just fight. in time here. The police have got horrible abilities. Like when they show up. Uh, they can just nab you. If they're lucky, they'll do like an arrest maneuver and then they'll just arrest you and you'll be trapped. Uh, you can try and break people out, but it's tough. And they just keep showing up. Sure thing. There we go. Made it away. Oh, someone's wounded. And someone is a little bit hurt. Got some level ups. Hunker down and gunfight automatically if you didn't attack on the round, or allows bandages for use three times instead of once. Um, we use bandages. We haven't come across them yet. They're not necessary so far for us, but they will be at some point. Throw enemy into wall, causing massive damage. Or headbang. Disorient enemy and do damage. Hit an enemy against a hard object, cause damage and make them disoriented. Removes zone of control and access to most of their skills. I, I like removing people's zone of control. Like, movement is so good. Badass. Well, criticals go by 20%. Or, unit immune to blind and stunned. Uh, I like critical 20%. And that flips back to... Huh. You don't know us, but we're hurt of you. Consider yourself warned. Mate, you came into my territory. I don't feel bad. Uh, we'll send some for healing, though. Funky. Grabbing journalists is going well. Now, we need more respect over here, which means I kind of think we have to go for the extortion. So... We'll send you to the extortion for four days. And our influence went up. Oh, damn it, I wanted heat. Okay. Three days until the extortion goes down, though. Right, let's pick our crew. Three, two, four, five. It's okay. I'm tempted to bring along, like, Scratch, maybe? Because this place was not the easiest to move around. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of Doozy. I know Doozy's, you know, kind of needs a level, but... Unequip others. Uh, I think we've got all the weapons with us, right? Oh, we could take a pistol if we wanted. Yep, that seems good. Go to planning! Right, front door. No back door. Don't kill anyone, knock out target. Right, so we've got to scare the boss. So, all right, guys, you got to go in, you got to find the boss, you got to take that boss out, you know, beat him up, show him what's what, then you got to get out. Problem is, you got to get out the same way you went in uh, before the cops show up, because when the roses show up, it's going to be tough. So... Oh, hello, civilian. I wonder what timeline, like, the different phrases that, you know, nicknames of the police shop, like, Rosa, Copper, um, what's the other? Oh, hello. Oof. Employees there as well.
Please don't come any closer. Yes, civilians are alerted. It's fine. It's totally fine. Nothing to see here. We're just going to scrub and go. Catchy name that. It's kind of useful the civilians are... Not civilians, sorry. The employees are outside. But at the same time, we do have to beat up the boss. I guess we could send one person in to beat up the boss and then hold the rest outside. Yeah, that might not be the worst idea. Hi there. I guess maybe we should send like two people in. Can we threaten him? Yeah, we can threaten the boss. I'm gonna pull your teeth out one by one. Uh, ran and we failed the attacker zone control. Oh, we got a second one though, because he went through two zones. Um, I guess we go for a punch. And then another punch. Nice, still up. Okay. Now, I want to try and slow these civilians down. Not civilians, employees. I mean, they're kind of civilians, but whatever. Um, so we're going to run down here, grab you from behind, because we're actually in the zone to leave. And then you... just going to fight you in the zone. Ah, miss me. Miss me. Come on. Come on. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. All right. Another employee. Nah, that's kind of blocking the way we were going to get in. That bull rushed me out of the zone. Dealt with. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just run down here. can't kick you because you'd go into my guy. Um, oh, no, we can flip with you. No, we can kick you against the wall. Stay down. Yeah. Can't go anywhere except into the wall. Oh, well, not my problem. That civilian's really in the way. It's actually tempting to kick that civilian back. Yeah, let's do it. Move back. And then we'll throw you to the side. So useful. Thank you, Smokey. When I get around to it, jeez. Look, stop cutting off my plan to leave. Uh, no, civilians don't. Do we have more abilities to just stop them? Because it's really annoying. Uh, I think I used all my movement abilities up. There we go. Bull rush like that. And then I guess we'd have to just take the hit to move to here. And then brace for it. I'm on it. Brace for it. And I think we can just leg it out. There we go. Done. Look, that's what we get when you play with us. 
You want to try and, like, disagree? You want to try and say that you don't owe us money? Well, that's a laugh. Uh, whiskey Muse 3 turns instead at once, or extra item. I'm taking the extra item. Don't know if I'll need whiskey yet. I mean, in the game. Uh, ooh, money. I could buy more hammers. I'm tempted to buy more hammers. We should buy more hammers. Hmm, I can't grab a journalist to buy more than one, but I want more than one. Alright, go get me hammers. And we'll assign an extra unit. Oh, look, we've got so much respect in Ewan, but the problem is Tower Hamlets have gone to 10. We need to get that up to 50. We could take on some of the other gangs. But this is probably a good place to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this look at Company of Crime. Oh, playing the criminal side. Obviously, there is a police side that we haven't touched, but you can play as the good guys if you want. Uh, but yeah, if you like the game, you can check it out down below. There is a link in the description if you were so inclined to go check it out. And sponsored video, of course, sponsored by uh, One C Entertainment. So thank you much to them. And if you have enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. But until next time, I've been Aerolysium. And I've had some terrible accents. Stay shiny. <laughs>